We, we call on the IFP, uh, by Zandile and Majosi, to come and share a few words as well. Welcome, Zandile. Thank you, uh, Honorable Poem Director. Unfortunately, I will not follow suit on uh, Honorable Sodi. I will uh, eat as as listed, trustees of the Ahmed Katada Foundation, members of parliament and the diplomatic courts, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning. I am truly honored today to represent the IFP um, of the great icon that we are celebrating. As young as I am, I was not even part of uh, the liberation struggle then that they went through, but we are here today uh, enjoying the fruits yeah. of those liberation. I am honored to represent the Inkata Freedom Party today as we gather to remember the great liberation icon, Mr. Ahmed Katrad. We pay tribute to this great leader as our democracy moves forward towards an era of coalition politics and the age and rebuilding of South Africa. The passing of Ahmed in 2017 was a painful moment for our nation. He was part of the generation who fought, sacrificed, and worked to secure the freedoms we enjoy today. And he did so with tenacity, courage, and integrity. He was a true servant leader who embodied all that is good, true, and beautiful in a human spirit of Ubuntu Butu. His voice will never be silenced, but we will miss his contribution as we continue the journey of democracy. Mr. Cuthbert and our leader founder, His Excellency Prince Mangosu Tukhtelezi, were good friends. They became close because of their shared love for South Africa. Over eight decades, they witnessed countless milestones and endured endless <coughs> hardships in the pursuit of political liberation. Both were blessed and ultimately among those who saw liberation achieved. However, this did not stop them, and they continued to contribute to the strengthening of fledgling democracy. Mr. Katrada dedicated himself to activism in his youth and continued <coughs> to fight for the betterment of South Africa throughout his life. He's exhibited great courage during the treason trial and the 26 years he spent incarcerated because of his beliefs. His letter to former President Zuma, urging him to listen to the will of the people, was a brave act of patriotism and will be remembered as such. As the Inkata Freedom Party, we are grateful that current and future generations of South Africans can benefit from the wisdom and experiences shared by Mr. Kathrad. We can learn about his remarkable life and character through his speeches, interviews, and statements. Those who wish to know more about him can watch the film, I quote, A Man for All Seasons, and close quote. Or read a book, I quote, The Triumph of the Human Spirit, and close quote. As we move forward, it's important to remember the core values and missions of the Ahmed Katarada Foundation. These principles should guide our work and help us to stay committed to our goals. Even when faced with in summer mountains challenges, the next election is shaping up to be a particularly difficult one. And it's essential that we all do our part to ensure that it is free and fair and conducted in the spirit of peace, lawfulness, and harmony. Encouraging everyone who is registered to vote to exercise their right to do so is one of the most important ways we can achieve this goal of free and fair elections. This is especially true for young people who have a particular responsibility to help shape the future of our democracy. We can't afford to see it on the sidelines and let others make decisions that will affect us all. In order to achieve this goal of free and fair elections, we must remain vigilant 
and proactive. This means staying informed about the issues, candidates, and working together to ensure that everyone has access, accurate information, and resources. It also means willing to stand up for what we believe in and to hold our leaders accountable when they fall short. Our success will depend on our ability to stay true to our values and mission. We must remain committed to building a more just and equitable society and to creating a political system that truly represents the people it serves. With hard work and dedication, we can achieve these goals and make a real difference in the world. In conclusion, the legacy of Mr. Katrada will continue to inspire those who seek to learn from our nation's past and hope and pray that future South Africa will see the birth of more leaders like him and his excellence, Prince Mangosutu Tilis. May they both rest in eternal peace, confident that the leaders of today and tomorrow will carry forward the vision of a free, harmonious and prosperous South Africa. Thank you very much.